I'm gonna get interrupted a lot. There's a lot of people at my house right now. We've got the air conditioner guy because our air conditioner went out this weekend. So I have my sisters here with my baby niece. My mom is here trying to grill like 10 feet away. And my grandparents just showed up. So. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. Today I am filming the Oh My God This Song book tag created by shit. Originally created by Kate's book date. I'll leave the original video link down below if you guys want to go check that out. I wasn't tagged by anybody because I'm still super, super new and also because, um, fuck you, I do what I want, so. Question number one, my jam, a song that you have to listen to every time it comes on no matter how many times you've heard it and a book that you will never, ever get tired of. The song that I am choosing is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen because duh <laughs> like who doesn't love that song if you don't like that song leave i'll wait and i think that the book that i chose is going to be fairly obvious i just happen to have my illustrated copy handy i'm not gonna have some of the books that i talk about today to hold up for you and i'm not fancy enough at editing to be like oh look at this insert that i made that goes here Ooh. Yeah, no, that's that's not me. That's not that's not me. I'm terrible at technology. It's a wonder that I have been able to do as, as much as I've done as it is. So, yeah, don't expect that. All of my books are actually packed away because we I don't have room for the amount of bookcases that it would take to hold them all. I was thinking that instead of a bookshelf tour like a lot of people do, I would actually unbox all of my books and show them to you. If that's something that everyone would be interested in, just let me know. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't do an awkward little dance, huh? Question number two, throwback. A song that reminds you of the cringiest time in your life and a book that if you read it for the first time now, you don't think you would like it as much. For the song, I am going with Anthem Part 2 by Blink-182. If you know that song, I feel like you understand. I was so angsty as a teen, like, no one understands me, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I was a little shit. And I feel like that song totally embodies everything about that time of my life. Also, the book that I chose is actually not a specific book but an author and that would be John Green. I just happened to have Looking for Alaska Handy. It's not my favorite by him. Actually, my favorite John Green book is an unpopular opinion I think because I feel like most people say that this is their least favorite but that would be Paper Towns. I personally like felt that book on like a real level more so than other people did I think. Also it's been a really long time since I read it and I think if I read it now I would still like it but I think if I read it for the first time now I may not like any of his books as much as I do. I'm also not gonna be doing a fancy thing where I've got that is that what is that a motorcycle a big truck what the south can you hear that the south that's what the south sounds like is loud trucks. I'm also not gonna be doing a fancy editing thing where I put the songs in. I'll have a Spotify playlist linked down below with all the songs if you care to go listen to them. This is also going to be a musical journey into the 4,000 kinds of music that I like. I like a lot of things and some of them you will like and some of them you probably won't, but ask me how many shits I give. Zero. Question number three, replay a recent song that you have on repeat and a recent favorite book. For the song, I am going with You Look Good by Lady Antebellum. I don't love this song, but it's got like this kind of like brass band country music thing going on. And I really like that aspect of it. And for that reason alone, like the melody is really catchy. I don't care for the lyrics, but that's about the only thing I don't like about the song. So, I don't know, take a listen, decide for yourself. For the book, I have decided to go with Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I thought about going with Six of Crows, but I feel like that gets enough talk on booktube's book I've seen mentioned here and there, but it definitely doesn't get the attention that Six of Crows does, so 
Strange the Dreamer. Stra Stra Strange the Dreamer. I like it. You knew this already because I did a similar thing in my last video. Ding! Question number four gets me. This song is me and this book is me in book form. For the song, I am going with No Hurry by Zac Brown Band. I am, again, from the South and we listen to country music here and I don't like all of it but I do like some of it and I fucking love this song. It is me as a song. Like, bye, Gail. bye. <laughs> love you. For the book, I am going with, oh, oh God bless America, land that I love. I'm not even drunk yet, y'all. The book that I chose for this question is Paddle Your Own Canoe by Nick Offerman because I agree with approximately 82% of everything this man says and stands for. Is it perfect? No, but neither am I, and that's why I feel like it works. Paddle your own canoe. Question number five. What? A song that's weird, but I like it, and a book that is weird, but stuck with you for whatever reason. For the song, I'm picking Peaches by the Presidents of the United States. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. And for the book, I'm cheating a little bit. I just thought this book was weird. I didn't like it. I still don't like it. No. Why do people like this book? It's creepy. It's just, it's just creepy. Also, in case you're wondering why it looks like my Lolita has a nosebleed, the pages are also super yellow because this book lived in my car for a really long time. I've got like most of the way through it and was like and then it lived there so there are people talking so so many people at my house do we discuss how there are so many people at my house right now I'll wait hey will you shut this door right here in between for me please appreciate ya Question number six, let's go. A song that gets you pumped up. Why? Because I was, I was about to say, like, what did you mean? But that was what you bought, it was the door was shut. Yeah, because everybody's talking. <laughs> Look, my bun done fell down. Stupid. Yeah, that's much better. Uh -uh. Excuse me. Such a lady. Question number six, let's go. A song that gets you pumped up. Up, and a book that inspired you. For the song, I chose Baby's Got a Temper by Tyler Reed, which all but maybe two of you have never heard of because you're not from here. <laughs> it was a semi-local band that we used to go watch play live when I was in high school, and to this day, I love this song. It gets me ready to go like ready to go let's go do stuff when i listen to this song i don't know why it just it makes me happy maybe it's because it's nostalgic maybe it's because it's actually good who knows you'll probably know i'll never know because i just love it so go listen to it the book that i chose as like the book that inspired me ready player one by ernest klein this book was so different from so many things that i usually read and it combined a lot of my loves in life in general, not just in books, but like other other things. It took those other things that I love and then put them in a book. And that was really fun. This book makes me happy. It inspires me to be happy. Question number seven, chill. Your favorite chill or relaxing song and a book you'd like to curl up with on a rainy day. For the song, I chose Slow It Down by the Lumineers. No. Dead Sea by the Lumineers. I changed it. It was Slow It Down, and then I went to put it on the playlist and was like, ooh, Dead Sea. Dead Sea's a better choice. I love them both. I don't know. Either one of those. Or the Lumineers in general. Just the Lumineers. For the book, I picked all, all of them. I want to curl up with all the books on a rainy day. <laughs> 
Question number eight, I made notes on when I was intoxicated. So this is really fun to look at now that I'm not. Question number eight, addicting. A guilty pleasure song and a guilty pleasure book. The song that I, the drug Stephanie decided to go with was Buy Me a Boat, Chris Jansen. Y'all, when I get to drink it, my redneck comes out. The book that I decided to go with is one of those that I have packed away and did not feel like digging through five giant boxes of books to, you guys know what it looks like. It's Twilight. Do I think it's good? No. But did I read the shit out of it? You bet your ass. Question number nine, nostalgia. An old song that you look back fondly on and a book that brings you back to a happy time in your childhood. For the song, I have chosen Crocodile Rock by Elton John. Go listen to it, it's fun. Everybody loves Elton John, right? The book that I chose was Cat in the Hat. I almost said if you give a mouse a cookie, but I ultimately decided to go with The Cat in the Hat because I remember one of the things that helped foster my love of reading when I was a tiny, tiny child. When I was in elementary school, on Dr. Seuss's birthday, we got to wear our pajamas to school and lay around and read on pillows on the floor all day. How do you grow up not loving to read when that's a thing that you get to do when you're a kid? It was awesome. You got to wear your PJs to school. Yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for hanging out with me while I uh, drink a beer and talk about books. That's a thing that I do here if you're new. This is the first video you've seen. They're pretty much all like this. And I plan on having so many more for you guys. So I really hope that you stick around. I'm gonna ask you very nicely to please click the subscribe button if you had a good time. And um, I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.